Watch you guys, gonna have a quick video here for you on how to erase or wipe any data that's on your hard drive completely, okay, using a free program called CCleaner. Now, CCleaner's been around for a long time and we know it for removing any temporary files and any browsing habits that we have on our system, but it also does a lot more. And you can download it at uh, piriforms.com forward slash CCleaner, okay? Just hit the download button and download that and install it. Now, if you've got a hard drive that you want to wipe, then you can actually wipe it with CCleaner. Now, I know there's tons of other programs out there that you can use, and uh, like DBAN and all the other types, uh, but we're just going to be talking about CCleaner here, okay? So, here we have a program that does a lot of other good stuff, but we're going to hit the Tools button here and have a look at the program that's built into it called Drive Wiper. Now you can see I've got a load of uh, partitions and load of drives on my system, okay? Now what the CCleaner allows you to do is securely erase the contents or free space on your hard drive. So you can see here, what I'm going to be doing is I've got a little partition here which I've named Wipe, which is 5 gigabytes in size. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to shorten it up to make this video for you guys. So you can see I've ticked this uh, partition here and this is going to allow me to wipe this partition completely and obliterate any content that's on that drive if I want to. So you can see here the wipe method is free space only. Now you want to change this to a race drive and all data will be erased on that drive. So bear that in mind guys, if you haven't backed up any stuff on that drive, you need to do it at this stage because it will be obliterated and you will not get it back, okay? No data recovery software is gonna get this back once you've wiped it. The next step is security. Security is about passes and overwrites that we're gonna be doing to that drive, okay? Now, a rule of caution here, and remember the more wipes that you do, the less chance you've got of getting data back but also the more wear and tear you are going to be doing on that drive. So that's a, a really important step there. So a simple overwrite would be one pass, okay? Now these could be uh, zeros and ones, or it could be loads of different more complex um, algorithms, I think you call them, uh, where they write to, write to the drive in different methods to actually try and obliterate uh, data, okay? So you can see here we've got zero drives and stuff like that. So we've got complex overwrite seven passes, now, government and NSA normally use, government use free, uh, NSA sometimes use seven passes, NSA, and you've also got a very complex uh, overwriting system, 35 passes, which sometimes is known as Gutterman, which is pretty extreme, it really does. Now, if you're just doing the normal stuff and uh, you wanna get rid of data, then free passes here would be ample, really, and that would be very difficult, if not impossible, to get your uh, stuff back. So you can see here we've got three passes. Again, how long does it take? Well, how big's your hard drive and how many passes you're gonna be making? That's gonna determine how long the process is to wipe that drive clean, okay? Now, would it be worth doing if you've got a 35 pound in money, one terabyte drive? You may as well go out and buy a new drive and completely throw that drive away, smash it up and throw it away. That would be probably another option so let's have a look at the actual uh, wipe method here in, in action. We're going to hit this and then it's going to ask us to type a race in here. A really nice touch to stop you accidentally doing it. So we're going to actually type this in and uh, put that in there, erase. Click OK and that's now going to start to erase that drive. Now you can see this is only 5 gigabytes in size so it's going to be very, very quick. But if you had a terabyte drive and you was doing 7 uh, seven or three, let's just say three overwrites, uh, then you're probably looking a good, I would say, a good 10 to 12 hours, maybe more, depending on how fast your computer is as well. Okay, that's nearly complete now, as you can see, and that's now wiped. Now, remember, this drive is a separate drive, okay? It's not my C drive or anything like that. That's an SSD. This is another drive that's been put in the computer as a slave, okay? Now there's one more area I want to cover here. If we go to the Options tab and then look inside this Settings area here, you can see there's another area for Secure Deletion. 
and what this is going to be doing is scrubbing the drive while you're using it so all your search all your surfing habits and stuff like that can be scrubbed and wiped out here now a, a word of caution here if you start using this on a regular basis it's going to put some severe wear and tear on the drive and also it's going to make data recovery really difficult if you accidentally delete stuff uh, if you're wiping the drive here if we put this to secure file deletion which is slower you can see here the normal file deletion is by default which is the fastest but as soon as you start adding passes overwrites and passes to that drive it's going to really slow the process up and you can see here we've got a uh, simple overwrite one pass advanced overwrite three passes and the same as we had before seven passes and 35 passes so if you had that set to free and then you add white wipe the alternate uh, data streams and also wipe the cluster tips as well and that would then start really uh, scrubbing that drive okay and all the traces of what you're trying to do to it okay so you can see here also wipe free space on the drives you can do that also and uh, if you've got an ssd i wouldn't uh, do that on ssd drives because that's going to be um you know a lot of wear and tear on that drive and a lot of read and writes to that drive as well so i try to avoid if it it on uh, SSDs and you can see here as well a uh, wipe MF uh, MFT free uh, space as well this me personally I would leave this alone I wouldn't even set this up and the reason for that is if you ever want to do day recovery it's going to make it nylon impossible so let's go back to uh, the C cleaner tab here if we left this as is and you wanted to do that and you went to the C cleaner area here also down the bottom here in the advanced area you can see wipe free space as well and then you've got some other areas like old prefetch files and stuff like that so you could uh, really scrub this uh, system uh, with this uh, method okay now what this is going to be doing again is it's not going to format your stuff so all your drive data will be safe that you're using on a daily basis but all the uh, background junk will be completely wiped okay so this is not an actual format this is more of, of a scrubbing method okay so anyway so that is the c cleaner and how you can securely erase or wipe your drive using c cleaner so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys and you find them useful then hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends and also if you want to subscribe to my channel then hit the subscribe button and that's going to allow you to get updated when i upload new videos okay now if you're not registered on my forums and you've got problems with your computers you can always head over to brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum and then head over there and that will allow you to post on there and uh, you, you'll get a response from me or some of the other admins on there or people that are helping to fix computers okay and it's completely free anyway with that have a great weekend guys and i shall see you again in the next video so thanks again bye for now